Hi everyone, and thank you for purchasing the custom liquid Shopify section by Quick Code. In this video, I'll be showing you how to actually use it. So if you haven't installed it yet, please refer to the separate video included in the package. You also have access to a PDF with instructions. So take a look at that if you need to. So to get started, uh, go to your theme editor, go to the specific page that you want to add this section to. Um, on the left hand side you have this this button add section you can either scroll down and search for the section that's there or you can use the search bar located up here um, once you add it you have an option here to add in um, a section title so uh, sub subtitle prehead um, uh, section title and an area to add in the liquid code. So to get started, you could oh, you could update this. If you don't want a subtitle, you can just leave it blank. Um, here we put in, let's say, this is my code, my sorry, liquid code, for instance. You can change the HTML element. This is good for uh, better SEO. Um, and also using styling that's already that already exists for specific elements like this all throughout your your theme. Uh, usually for 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 subtitles within a page, H2 is usually recommended, but you can always choose from between H1 and H6 um, for you to optimize everything. Um, scrolling back down, um, we have the styling for these sections. You can play. You can set uh, top margin, bottom margin of the of the sections here. If we add in a another color, for instance, a margin is the distance from the top or the bottom of the section outwards. So you can push, get things, you know, more more space between sections. And padding is what's inside. So if we change, for instance, padding, we can give much more space, as you can see in between where the code would be centered and we have much more room in there. Um, scrolling down, we have we have the um, styling for the subtitle uh, and for the title itself. You can select a custom font here by going in here and choosing any of the custom fonts available. Um, you can play, you can change the color, you can change the font size if these are set to zero. That means that it's going to be using the default sizes um, from your theme. But let's say in this case, we want to make it really big. We can do that. We can change the letter spacing. So there's a little bit more space between the letters, depending on the look and feel of your, in the topography of your brand. Um, you can also make it left aligned or uh, center or right aligned. For, same goes with mobile settings you can update that stuff as well then we get down to the liquid code the liquid code is the code that shopify uses in the back end to get data from the database um, and so we give you an opportunity here to use some of that uh, you can click on the link here to learn a little bit more about liquid if you need to um, some I, you know you have some ideas that this could be used for is for instance, if you have an, a rewards page or a page that's specifically for customers that are logged in, or maybe that if they're logged in, you can always add in uh, code for, uh, for instance. So to use the code, let's say we wanna check to see if a customer is logged in. So we would use the liquid code if customer, And if anything that goes here in the middle would be would would <clears throat> would be executed if the customer indeed is logged in, then we can put in hi customer dot name like so. <clears throat> now note welcome to our site. So now you can see that there's no real styling here and it's left aligned and all that. So this, we can also add in HTML and CSS. 
So let's say that we put in here, we'll make the high a, uh, an H3 to make it bigger. And then we'll make this one a paragraph. So that's the first thing in terms of styling where we can play around with that. And then we can do inline styling as well, where we would do text align center. And then we can take the same thing and put it there like, like so. And of course we can add more in, we can add margins, we can add all sorts of things like that. Um, and that's basically it uh, for using the custom liquid. Uh, if you have any other ideas or things that you'd like, you'd like to go to a product page and you can extract the, the product description or a product name um, and stuff like that. Just refer to the, to the link here to get some ideas of what kind of things you'd like to do. And if you have any questions, you can reach us at the support page. So that's it. Thank you again. And we hope that this section will help you achieve your website goals.